Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I received a package. Okay, so I did go to Legoland, don't judge me. I went to Legoland because the mini land is cool. It's architectural and I figured I'm not gonna be there since like, I don't know, with my kids or something. So I figured I'd go one last time. So from Legoland, I got a few things. Not a few, I got like one thing. First off, I got two minifigures, so let's see those. First minifigure I got was this clown guy. He's holding like little balloons. He has a cape. Uh, <laughs> so I know this is like a little different from the videos I usually make. I've never like made like a real toy unboxing, especially with Legos. <laughs> but I went to Lego and I figured I might as well make a video out of it. The other minifigure I got was from the Harry Potter set. These two minifigures are from the mystery set. So like you open the bag and you don't know what's gonna be in the bag. This is the Harry Potter one. You can pause it if you want. Yeah, and from the Harry Potter one, I got Cedric Diggory. Here he is. So here he is, he's holding his wand. He has a cup that says Tri Wiz Tournament, and it says Diggory on the back. By the way, here is the paper that came with it. This is for the birthday for the 40th anniversary of Lego comes with all these guys. I happen to get the clown guy. Here's the back. But the real thing that I'm making this video about is this. So Lego recently made something like a product for the collectors, like for people like me who like pop figures. They made these things called Brickheads. I'll put a picture of one right here. They're basically like pop figures except Lego. So it's pretty cool, it brought a new like, demographic in. I don't have the box, I threw it away because I did not know I'd be making this video, but here's the instructions. So basically what this said is, is a make your own Brickheads kit. So you can make a Brickhead that looks like you or like a fictional character or a celebrity or whatever you want it. So it comes with stickers to customize the shirt and it comes with obviously a lot of Legos. Here is what the booklet looks like. Um, as you can see, all these people, they're advertising that you can make one that looks like you. Here's what it looks like when you open it up. From the first bag, you can make one of them. And in the set, by the way, you can make two. So this makes the whole guy. And then from all of these bags, you can customize it into whatever you want. So first it gives you the base, like instructions of how to make a guy, a brickhead. And then after you're done on the next one, um, it shows you a whole bunch of different ways to make other guys, like as you can see, different shirts and styles. Okay, I made the lighting a bit better, at least for my face, because the sun was right in my face, but there is this line. Ah. So we're actually gonna start making one. I think we'll maybe make one that looks like me, and one that maybe looks like, I don't know, Severe, my cameraman, or someone else. There's orange, rainbow, and last but not least, bag one, which has all the pieces necessary to make a standard briquette. So we are done with the demo version of the Brickhead. It's basically just a white, plain version of what it's normally going to be when you want to customize it. Um, I'm probably just gonna take off the ears and everything and just basically make them naked. And then I'm gonna add on other stuff. Okay, so we're gonna start out by making myself. Um, first, I have to decide what shirt color I want. Okay, I'm gonna do a solid blue shirt. So I finished little the base of the figure looks weird because I don't have a head right now, but um, I built my shorts, my body, and my arms, and I have little green shoes and white socks. So now all I have to do is make my face and skin tone and add props and stuff. 
So now that I've put on like the face and the head, I'm gonna start with some of my hair. I want like the little fringe that comes down when I don't do my hair. So I finished me. Um, I don't know, I'm probably gonna make a few like adjustments to the hair because it looks a little weird. I just realized I forgot to make the face smoother. Like see, this part is bumpy unlike this part, so I will do that now. So here is a finished version of me and the t-shirt. I chose this globe. There's still a lot of options. Ugh. So I decided not to give myself any props, but here are the props. It comes with a mug, a surfboard, a camera, a trophy, a guitar, and a briefcase, and also the fairy wand. Now I think I'm going to make Severe with the extra pieces. Um, if you don't know Severe, he's in a lot of my videos um, and usually films most of my single videos, like the last video, which was my Look Great one. So we're gonna start out with his shirt. I'm thinking a red and white shirt, so I'm just going to use this design, except I'm going to replace this part in the middle right here with uh, just white. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Here's what he looks like. I went with the red and white shirt and a little design, and as you can see, he's carrying a camera just like he would in real life. And I used, the, again, I used instructions to do most of the hair, and then I just add some of my own style to the front and on the top. Well, I might make another video of making more of these. I don't know, it's really fun. So I know I already said I had a final product, but here is my final, final product. Um, this is what I look like. All I changed was the hair. So I made my hair smoother on top, all except for the back, like in real life with my calic. And that's pretty much all the changes I made. And Originally when I was making Severe, I made him have a darker skin tone, but then I changed it later because it didn't really look like him. So I gave him this lighter brown skin tone and changed his hair up a bit. And here I made a little stand. Um, I ran out of pieces for a stand because it only came with enough pieces to make one stand. Um, so I had to get a little creative. So that's what it looks like. And it fits nicely on my nerd shelf. So sadly, that is going to be the end of the video. If you liked the video, then like it, obviously, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.